Good morning to you. Gosh, the pace of this, really quite extraordinary and really interesting to see, first of all, Grant Shapps withdrawing himself and then at the last minute at the 11th hour, Sajid Javid. And I suppose the old saying is, he who wields the, the knife never mm. wears the crown applies to him. I think the, the other thing you say in politics is, you know, the first rule is learn to count and he clearly just didn't have the MP backers. Um, but I'm sorry to see him go because he had actually one of the most developed policy uh, platforms. He's the only one who was saying anything serious about housing, for example. Um, so disappointing to see him go, but it'll be interesting to see who he now backs. Yeah, and whether or not that would be a poison chalice. You know, if he's not been able to get the backing of 20 <laughs> MPs at this early stage, would declaring for another actually hinder their chances or would he do better to keep his powder dry till the last two candidates, perhaps? I mean, I think, uh, I think his problem is uh, in a certain faction of the party he's seen as having betrayed Boris Johnson um, and Rishi Sunak obviously has that same problem. So, you know, we've seen Jacob Rees-Mogg and Nadine Dorries be quite mean about Rishi Sunak. They're supporting Liz Truss. Um, and yes, I suppose Sajid Javid has that same aura yeah. about him. Well, how come Rishi Sunak it doesn't seem at this moment to be suffering too badly in terms of betrayal? I mean, I think he's emerging as the sort of sensible candidate. He's got at least two chief, former chief whips on his team. So that probably <laughs> helps. Um, and I, I think, you, you know, he obviously did a good job in the pandemic. And I think a certain sort of wing of the party sees him as their best shot. Faith pair of hands, mm. establishment figure. Penny Morgan.